I always wondered this, like uh, when I was at Twitch, Emmett is the CEO and he was the original founder, right? So t- he's like 10 years in and, um, and he basically went from like, you know, starting the thing with two, f- two or three, you know, buddies basically to, okay, 2000 employees and, you know, whatever, m- millions and millions of users. And for a long time, his thing was like, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm not the professional CEO manager type. I'll get coaching there so that I'm not like awful at it yeah but uh you know i'm great with product and growth and i'm gonna like there was like this perpetual candidate search for a chief product officer that somehow was never getting filled and it's like everyone knew it's because emmett loves to do it and it's great at it and it's like i had a little of this yeah yeah i think it's pretty common to do for this to happen where the ceo is like well that's the thing i like don't don't take away the one thing i like when there's like the rest of it is just firefighting and politics like you know i'm not not super into that bit and then, you know, eventually found it, it, when I was there, found somebody who was a you know really good product leader and, and engineering leader. And basically over, you know, over that year, I saw that person take more of that role. And then I was like, oh, right, Emmett, what are you going to do now? And he was like, oh, I'm going to work on like, you know, the vision and the long trip strategy. I was like, yeah, but like, you know, when you What's wake up, mean? what do you, what do yeah. you do? You just sit there and I'm going to think about the vision right now. It's like, that's such a weird, what do you do day to day? And I never really understood what that meant and so like when you say i think i would i work on you know the vision and strategy now you wake up what the heck do you do okay so today there was a bunch of emails back and forth between dharmesh and i about what subspot looked like five years from now um so literally i woke up thinking about exactly that <laughs> right <laughs> it turns out and so and you're uh, doing like it's like long form writing so you're just like writing out you guys are just like a basically an email brainstorming session yeah it wasn't even that long form it was just emails back and forth um and just different product ideas in different areas we could go into um and then i read a lot and so you guys probably saw that amazon came out with like a billion new products yesterday that looked Kind of interesting, actually. It's just amazing how much new stuff they had and how well it tied together. I think that started the thread. Like, holy crap, is there a lot of innovation coming out of that company? And yeah, there's a lot of R&D in there, but it's amazing the amount of innovation coming out of there. And uh, I think that sort of started it. By the way, did you see this Infinidash thing that came from, from Amazon? Did, did you guys see this? No, what is it? <laughs> so so AWS, so Amazon launches all these different products and uh Somebody said – somebody basically on Twitter goes – they go, they go, oh my god, um, you know, AWS Infinidash looks like a game changer. Um, and I think, you know, Werner Vogels, who's like one of their kind yeah. of like – CTO. Chief scientist, yeah, CTO types. He tweets out like, you know, at the, in, at the hashtag Infinidash event tonight, blah, 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 celebrating. And then um, – and it's a fake product. There is no product called Infinidash. It was like a, just like a meme, but people started kind of memeing it into existence. So someone immediately responds. They go, "I'm buying OpenDash.io to, so I don't get locked into AWS as an as an open source alternative to Infinidash." And then, oh these, and then Signal, the big messaging app that has like 50 million users, was like, um, "You know, we're hiring an engineer with an emphasis on Infinidash lifecycle management." <laughs> and, um, and then there's like YouTube videos with Infinidash demos. Nice. And like people are like, I'm an Infinidash consultant. And it just like took on a life. And if you knew it was fake, you knew. But everybody kind of played the part. And awesome. a whole bunch of people thought it was real. <laughs> That's awesome. That's-